to be a refugee is very difficult. Landless, homeless, citizenless. That is why I have decided to come to US. My family now, who are coming now, they are living in the refugee camp, refugee camp in Nepal. You probably feel good that you can be here for your family because when you they've lived in a camp for 20 years. They come to a foreign country whose culture they don't know and whose language they likely don't know, and they arrive in a cold urban airport in the middle of the night carrying a few grocery bags of their entire possessions. Hello, Manda family. Yeah, I'm here. Welcome. Hello. 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 Welcome. Welcome. How are you? We take on a staggering amount of responsibility for their humanity, and our caseworkers take that seriously and are the ones who create some warmth and walk with them hand in hand as they do something that I would argue the vast majority of people in our country could never fathom doing for themselves or their families. We don't ask you if you're Catholic, we ask you if you're hungry. And it has long been our tradition, and the tradition of Catholic charities around the country, that we are indifferent to anything but your need. Good, okay, we're going to have full conversations now by ourselves. My name is Mandy Townsend, and I'm the ESOL instructor. I teach employment English, life skills, and English for survival. Make a sentence using since and your hobby. Oh, wow, okay. My classes are never just sit down, learn, look at a book. They're always interactive and I have them talking. My goodness, it gets competitive, pushing and yelling. Sometimes I'm like, okay, okay, everybody calm down. Everybody gets chocolate, let's end. Bye, have a good afternoon. So Cher and I work really closely together to try to find clients jobs. And I feel like as the English teacher, it's my job to get them ready for the interviews and it's her job to find them jobs, but it's our job to work together to make that work smoothly. I think at the traditional breads where we went, it, they are really friendly with immigrants because they're immigrants themselves. You have to have to remember where you come from. You know, I come from the Caribbean, and at a young age, somebody gave me an opportunity, so you can call me an immigrant. I am an immigrant. My employees create the opportunity for me because without them, I'm nothing. When I say nothing, I'm nothing. Yes, I'm Basay. Catholic charity also tried a lot find me the job. After two weeks ago, I just got the job. Name of company is Traditional Bread. My first job in the US. <laughs> it's good. I brought the clients here to experience the sugar shack. They make maple syrup. They go through the sugar shack and they learn about how maple sugar is made and then they get to the end and they get to try it on pancakes. It's really Americana. Yeah, pancake is really sweet. Yeah, it's good. Right now, out of a staff of seven, we have five people who were former refugees and former clients of ours. What I think is really important and incredible about what Owen did is that he put aside his own faith, tradition, and beliefs as a Buddhist and wanted to make sure that Christian people, Baptists, had a place where they could worship and come together to form a community. When I came here, I see the airport, and I get out of the airport, Mr. K, you know, and MRG, they are, you know, pick up for me, especially I, like, I finally stay for myself, you know. What it is, like, because I live in Thailand, it's a very difficult, it's like, I am free.